this is our lesson number 23 in Sapphire Kingdom Gemology channel. We are learning here Padvaraja Sapphire Inclusions. Difference between natural Padmaraj and heated Padmaraj. That is the most useful thing we should understand. Natural versus heated. So, remember these inclusions well. It is a simple thing. Then you can see the stone through the 30x, 40x or 10x loop and find out these inclusions and can get the decision you are on. It is natural or it is heated. Don't depend on the lab. In this lesson, we will identify the differences in the inclusions between natural and heated Padmaraja. Keep this in mind. And remember, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Now we are moving to the lesson. This is the first slide we are discussing. It is natural stone. This is natural Padmaraja stone, not heated. So, Likely, like regionally textured clouds, textured clouds here. This natural gem has a milky blue glow. Milky blue, see the milky blue glow is here. Can you see my cursor? Follow the my cursor. In these untreated gems, we can also observe a small metallic crystals. These are the small metallic crystals. Those are sulfide crystals. See, sulfide crystals. When you see these crystals, no heat or some differences inside there. It is natural. No changes inside the inclusions. If it is heated, it will blast or some changes happening inside. So we can identify that. So this is very clearly, I, we can identify it is not heated stone. Now look at this. This also natural stone, inclusion. Then this Padmaraja gem contains a beautiful negative crystal suspended against a fingerprint. Around here, this is called fingerprint. Like our fingers, we have fingerprints. This is like a fingerprint. Inside the fingerprint, there is a <clears throat> negative crystal. It is big negative crystal. Negative crystal means it is like negative mark. Minus mark. It is like minus marks. Can you remember the mathematics? Positive sign and the negative sign. So negative sign is like this. So the name came negative crystals. Now this is not the heated one. It is natural stone inclusions. Look at the fingerprint here. This fingerprint is very clearly can see no destruction inside there. Now we are moving to next. Look at this. This also natural stone inclusion. A euhedral apatite crystal is present as an inclusion in Untreated Padmaraja gems. Euhedral. This shape called euhedral. Appetite crystal. This is appetite crystal. We can see these appetite crystals inside the natural Padmaraja. Having sharp, recognizable crystal faces is called euhedral. I added here the meaning of euhedral. Euhedral means having sharp, Recognizable crystal phases. See, that is called a UN. Now, this also natural Padmaraja inclusions. Now, look at here. Here, we can see this is also natural stone, natural inclusion, no heat. These Padmaraja gems from Sri Lanka displayed unusual ghost crystals. These, these are called ghost crystals. Crystals are like ghosts. Several of which were prominent on the surface. In the light reflected from the surface, 
they were distinguished only by the inclusions of the crystals which showed no difference in brightness from the surrounding blue sapphire but between the cross polars stood our brilliant uh, stood out brilliantly this is identified as corundum crystals inside corundum these are the corundum crystals inside corundum so it is giving the spectrum like colors also it works like a prism so corundum inclusion inside corundum was first identified in 1940 by edward goblin he is the person who identified this corundum inclusion inside a corundum gem in 1940 this is natural inclusion in the natural padmarath please subscribe and give the like and share now look at this this also natural padmaraja inclusions so look at this untreated in this negative crystal it is also negative crystal in padmaraja sri lanka one can see a hexagonal graphite plate there are six sides here so it is hexagonal see graphite graphite is carbon graphite plate can you remember the graphite when we learned the diamond lesson diamond and the graphite we learn graphite is carbon graphite plate like a scattered needle it is a needle here graphite the na the uncut nature of the negative crystals and scattered needles confirm that the gem has not been heat treated no any effect here heat effect here it is natural now look at the same look at the same but the lighting conditions are different when we learn in future lessons we are describing the old lighting conditions also still you are not uh, known what are the lighting conditions you can learn it in number 48 lesson so i didn't uh, use it here to uh, we are using later later lessons we are using the lighting conditions now the same same crystal same inclusion with another lighting condition it is also natural stone inclusion untreated in this negative crystal in padmaraja sri lanka one can see hexagonal graphite plate like a scattered needle this is the needle graphite plate the uncut nature of the negative crystals and scattered needles confirm that the gem has not been heat treated see the fingerprint fingerprint also not destroyed it is natural fingerprint you can understand if it is heated we can see the heated destroyed levels of these things so it is very easy to identify now we are moving here it is another natural stone inclusion look at this in this flat negative crystal flat negative crystal found in the sri lankan padmaraja gemstone liquid and gases carbon dioxide liquid carbon dioxide and gases carbon dioxide and needle like multiple placer faces solid multiple faces means solid liquid gas there are three faces needle like multiple faces can be found <coughs> because the refractive index of diaspore these are called smaller one are called diaspore needles indexes the uh, reflective index is given here is very close so very close to that of corundum diaspore becomes a negative needle liquid carbon dioxide turns into a gas at a fairly low temperature in inside here liquid carbon dioxide is there but the small light can evaporate that liquid carbon dioxide turns into a gas at a very low temperature and only the heat of the microscope forces the bubble to disappear co2 bubble to disappear and intact negative crystal like this is proof positive that the specimen has not been heat treated so it is a natural inclusion the same one with another lighting condition natural stone inclusions 
this is the same thing like earlier. Difference is, difference with this and this is only the lighting condition. You can see here also everything properly. In this flat negative crystal found in the Sri Lankan Padmaraja gemstone, liquid and gases, carbon dioxide and needle-like multiple phases can be found. Needle-like multiple phases can be found because the refractive index of diaspore, diaspore means these needles, small needles, are called diaspore. It is given with uh, gemology. Ri is very close to that uh, corundum. All are corundum needles. Diaspore needles also a corundum. Diaspore diffusion. Diaspore means diffusion. Becomes a negative needle. Liquid carbon dioxide turns into a gas at a very low temperature. That temperature is enough of the microscope lighting. Micros microscope's light gives very low heat. So that is enough to evaporate this liquid gas carbon dioxide. This and the earlier one, both are tells in the same stone, it is not a heated stone. It is natural Padmaraja stone. Now look at here. Here, <coughs> you can see the fingerprint here and the negative crystal, big negative crystal. Inside this big negative crystal, you can see the black one here. It is graphite. Graphite is carbon. Graphite crystal. In Sri Lankan Padmaraja, inside the Sri Lankan Padmaraja, this is graphite crystal. This is natural fingerprint, not destroyed by the heat. So that is very common sign in natural stones. So it is not heated natural stone. Look at this. It is like a terraced mountain. Inside Padmaraja, this is negative crystal. Big negative crystal. When we examine it is little bit large negative crystal in the center of an untreated Padmaraja gemstone from Sri Lanka. This crystal was photographed inside the Sri Lankan Padmaraja. It is a negative crystal. So this is called a natural stone, not the heated one. It is natural. Look at here. From here, we are learning Heated, heated stones, not the natural, heated stones, heated Padmara. When observed under short wave illumination of this heat treated gem, short wave light, short wave, you have the torch, in, inside the torch you have short wave light, <coughs> ultraviolet. When we use it, we can see gem is like this. What is that? An angular zone. Choke like, it is a choky appearance, choky fluorescence, choke like fluorescent spots is easily identified with the heated Padmaraja inclusions. Heated stones give this choky, choky appearance under the UV light. We can identify as heated because of this choky appearance. Remember this. The second one. Heated stone inclusion. In this inclusion, you can see a lot of things inside here. This Padmaraja gem from Sri Lanka features unextracted rutile silk. You can see rutile silk is there. All the rutile silks are not extracted. Against the background of finely extruded particles. This is heated one, but Nobody can heat to finish the rotile in the stone. So everybody heats without the good technology. So they can't fix all the uh, silky. They can't turn into they can turn the silky into color because they don't have the complete understanding of the heat treating technique. That is the thing. So the rest inclusions, rest rotile silk shows us 
it is heated one. Look at this. This also uh, heated stone, low iron gems. Low iron gems means pink and Padmaraja gems. Pink and Padmaraja have low iron percentage. So low iron gems from areas such as Mogok, Hongshu, that means Myanmar. Low iron gems, that means pink sapphire and Padmaraja, comes from Myanmar and Sri Lanka often show chalky bands in the short wave UV. Chalky bands. See the this is the stone. See the chalky bands. Chalky bands. Myanmar and Sri Lanka stones often shows these chalky bands under the UV light. Here we see an excellent example of heat treated Padmaraja gemstones from Sri Lanka. This fluorescence is positive evidence for heat treatment. Remember, if we can see this fluorescent fluorescence in the sapphire, that means it is heated, and this Padmaraja was heated. Remember the inclusions you have learned so far, then you will win. Your comments and subscription will encourage me. Let's learn about garnet in the next lesson. Please subscribe and we are going to stop now. We are moving to the next week. The next lesson is garnet.